numbers, right? The headline figure, 223,000 jobs created last month. So that was pretty much in line with economists' estimates. You heard Alan Kruger say, this is a solid report. In the next hour, we're going to be getting reaction from the White House. But I want to hear first from the Republican side. We're joined now. Texas by Congressman Kevin Brady, who, of course, uh, I know, Congressman, you have been uh, still critical of the White House and uh, and the Democrats for not creating as many jobs as we should in this economy. So uh, Alan Kruger says, look, this is a solid report. There's not much to criticize here. You agree? Well, I think we've dumbed down our expectations. One, I love any uh, month we're adding new jobs. I think that's really good news. Unfortunately, the economy's still stuck very much in second gear. We're much more capable of a healthier economy than this. Look, our labor force participation is still at a 30-year low. The number of adults in the workforce in perspective isn't even back to where the recovery began. We've actually lost some ground in that area. And the recovery overall is barely half of what an average recovery should be. So my point is, uh, if your car is running for 60 months in a row, as the White House will say, they're adding jobs 60 months in a row, That's they can right. only go 20 miles an hour. Is that satisfactory? And my point is, we can do a lot better than this. Okay, and you're in oil country there in Texas, right? And we've seen uh, oil jobs just get decimated with the fall in oil prices. What are you, what, how, what are you saying to your constituents uh, to try to get those jobs back? Well, we know that oil is cyclical uh, in nature. I don't think uh, energy got the uh, credit it deserves for the economic recovery. Uh, it is, I think, uh, having an impact clearly on the economy, but it's been going strong. Uh, our energy companies, I think, are reducing quickly and very smartly, strategically. They know there's going to be a bounce and a rebound from this. But I think, really, if you look at the overall numbers, it is capital investment around the country that's really the biggest drag on the economy right now. Now, businesses are not investing in new building equipment and software. Right. That usually drives uh, jobs on main streets. I think that's one of the most troubling parts, frankly, of the whole Obama recovery. Uh, all right. Well, speaking about Obama, you do, uh, as I understand it, Congressman, you are in favor, though, of the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the trade agreement. How do you sell that, though, to your voters that the trade agreement is not a jobs killer and it's not going to cost people their wages? Well, I'll tell you what, um, you, want, you want a solution to this um, slow recovery. Uh, it would be more trade, less red tape to encourage investment, and a new tax code that's built for growth. We can start in the next two weeks by getting back on the trade field. We know companies or countries we have trade agreements with buy 12 times as much American goods and services as countries we don't have. We're running a trade surplus with these nations. We need to be doing more of this, not less. And so, look, I want to tear down the American need not apply signs around the world. Let our companies and workers and farmers compete. We know it creates jobs here in the United States. And how do you, how do you sway those who are skeptical about this, including members of your own party and the Democrats, to get this through the House? Well, I'll tell you, the president's going to have to step up. I think he's done a good job, frankly, in the Senate, trying to draw support despite the obstructionists of Harry Reid. Uh, he's got a lot more work to do in the House. At the end of the day, we are going to pass these new rules on trade. America, if America doesn't lead, we will grow weaker. Our competitors will grow stronger, and we're going to lose jobs here at home. And so at the end of the day, I'm confident, while it will be close, I'm confident at the end of the day we're going to lead on trade again. All right, Congressman, thank you so much. Congressman Kevin Brady from Texas with a Republican reaction to the labor report. Now